Hi, it's Eric Snopke again. This time I will walk you through John Williams, or better say Aunt Margie's vaults from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of the Azkaban. What makes this piece exceptional is the orchestration. If you try to listen to each section separately, it would not make sense. This waltz is like a funny conversation between each orchestra groups. It opens with oboe solo. Every time there is a solo part, you have to spend more time with the programming, because it's exposed to ear and every problem with realism would be noticeable. But with Vienna Symphonic Library, this is not a problem. The trick is to use more articulations and human imperfections, like humanized tuning and delay. I have also mapped the tempo to match the original recording. This piece is very fast, which makes it harder to program so it sounds realistic. However, thanks to VSL, you can achieve tighter sound by activating time stretching and making staccatos even shorter. Other VST libraries would have problem with strings legato at this speed, but VSL has true legato, so all you need to do when you have a fast string passage like this is to layer the strings with smaller section like chamber or solo strings. Another thing that adds to the realism of this piece is dimension brass. If you are unfamiliar with dimension libraries, basically with them you have access to every single player of the ensemble. The decision to use dimension brass helped to maintain the original orchestration. For example, there is a part where the chord is divided to all four horn players. If I were to use an ensemble patch from Special Edition Volume 1, I would end up at some point with 16 players playing one chord at the same time, which would overpower the orchestra. Apart from this, with Dimension Brass you have even more control over the sound. To give an example, you can have first horn play fortissimo, while the remaining horns play metaforte. John Williams chooses percussions very carefully. In this piece they add little embellishments without drawing too much attention on themselves. The light synchron percussions from Special Edition Volume 2 blends perfectly with the rest of the synchronized orchestra. The piece was entirely mixed in Vienna Ensemble Pro. In my template I have all instruments pre eq to my taste, so then when I reach the mixing stage I don't have to tweak things too much. I tried my best to mix this piece as the original recording. Woodwinds are closer than default classic preset. Harp and Celeste are pounded differently. In the score, the third flute player was doubling on piccolo. To stay true to the position on stage, I created the third flute by duplicating flute 1 and I have borrowed the impulse response of the piccolo. Triangle also needed special treatment because the score asked for a small triangle. Special Edition Volume 1 contains a regular size triangle. So I pitched it up and removed low frequencies. By the way, the plugins I have used comes with the purchase of Vienna Ensemble Pro. With Exciter I added shine to brass. Finally, I added an EQ on the basses to match the sound of the original recording. See you in the next one.